What's up you guys, welcome back and welcome if you're new. In today's video, we're gonna be doing a super simple install for you guys. So if you guys do have a 2020 Toyota Tacoma, this is gonna be seriously super simple for you. Basically, we're gonna be installing bed lights onto this truck. The cool thing about the 2020 Tacoma is they already come pre-wired, so you literally just buy this light and plug it in. So it's gonna be for a plug and play. I'm gonna show you just exactly how to do it, and then once it gets nighttime, I'll go ahead and show you how it looks at night to see if they're really bright or not. And if you guys wanna end up purchasing them, it's gonna be in the description box below. Let's go ahead and get into the video and I'll show you how it's done. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and just show you really quick what comes inside the box, and then I'll go ahead and show you just exactly what tools you're gonna to need. Like I stated, this is gonna be a super simple install for you guys. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. The cool thing about this, it is a Toyota Genuine part, and it was, I believe, under 60 bucks. Like I stated, I'll link it down below. So inside the box, it's gonna come with the wire harnesses that are gonna be plug and play. You're gonna need that. And then inside, you're gonna get your actual lights that come with it. So like I stated, it is an OEM product. So that's honestly awesome because that kind of gives you the uh, peace of mind that it's gonna last for a long, long time. And as far as the tools, all you're really gonna need is just a 10 millimeter socket or wrench, whatever works for you, and a flathead or a panel removal tool. That's all you're gonna need. So basically where these lights are gonna be installing is we're gonna look inside of here. And as you can tell, there is a cover right here. That's where the light is gonna go. And looking at the opposite side, it's gonna be kind of hard to see because there is a shadow but there is also one there. So let's go ahead and just jump right into it because I'm talking too much. We're gonna be starting with the driver's side. You're gonna notice, of course, like I had stated, the cover is there. It's really easy to take it off. You just get either a panel removal tool, a flathead, doesn't matter. When you take it off, you wanna kinda pay attention how it is formed. As you could tell, there's this little clip here and there's these two little kind of prongs. The reason you wanna pay attention to that is because you wanna grab your light now and exactly the way you know how it looks so this one has the prong there same as that and then up here has the two little legs just like that so that's how you know this one's going to go on this side so super easy nothing too hard about that so just kind of pay attention to that so before we do install it we're going to go ahead and now focus over here to the tail light we're going to go ahead and remove the bolt that's here and we're gonna remove this bottom bolt here. That's what's holding in the tail light, and that's when the 10 millimeter socket comes into play. Once we do that, I'll show you why we need to remove it. Don't get scared. Once you remove the bolts, you wanna go ahead and kinda of tug on the tail light back towards you, and that will release it just like that. Now we're gonna focus over here. All right, so up next, you wanna go ahead and uh, grab the wire harness that is provided. You're gonna notice on one end, it's gonna have kind of like a red gasket inside of there. And then on the other end, it's gonna have kind of like a white connection inside. So you wanna grab the side that has the white connection. You wanna go ahead and now grab the actual uh, bed light. And then you're gonna wanna go ahead and connect it. There, it only goes in one way, so you can't mess this up. So go ahead and click it. Once it clicks, now you wanna go ahead and uh, go towards the hole where you're gonna put it in. So this end of the wire is going to drop down the bedside and you're going to stick your hand in over here, kind of grab it when it drops down, of course, and you want to feed it out. Let me go ahead and show you what I mean. So let's go ahead and drop the wire. We're going to drop it in there and you could get a clothes hanger if that makes it easier for you, kind of tape on the wire. All right, so just like that. So as you can tell, this connection is here now. So we're gonna focus really quick right here. So we have to disconnect this here, just like that. And you wanna connect these two ends. There's nothing hard about it. This also only goes in one way. So once it clicks, you're gonna wanna remove this actual tab because you're not gonna need that anymore. You could either break it off or use a panel removal tool. So that was what was there. And then this actual wire harness that was provided already comes with its own clip. So you wanna go ahead and clip it into that same section. Once it clicks, now we're gonna go ahead and focus back over here where the light is. And as I had stated, you wanna make sure to put it in the right direction. So the two little legs are facing up and this like plastic clip is on the bottom side. You wanna go ahead and first put the top in just like that. And then the bottom, 
you pop it in. So let's go ahead and reconstruct this, put it back together. Let's go ahead and put the tail light back together and then we'll go ahead and do the same thing for the opposite side and we'll go ahead and test it out so that way you guys can see how bright they really are. Before I actually do the other side, I just wanted to show you how it looks when it's done. So there's the light and then of course this is the one without it. So let's go ahead and now get to it. Now that both sides are installed and right now I'll go ahead and show you and then I'll show you which switch to push to turn these bad boys on. So let's go ahead and show you now. Damn, check that out. So like I stated, they're actually pretty freaking bright uh, for being factory. And like I said, it's all plug and play. You don't have to splice any wires or add additional harnesses, anything like that. So basically what they hook up to is those with the pre-wired. So anytime that top one goes on, these bed lights also go on. So let me go ahead and show you now where that switch is for it to turn on. But damn, look at that. If you want to purchase them, description box below. Let's go inside the truck so I can show you which switch. When you're inside the truck, you want to go ahead and of course be in the driver's side. So the lights that actually turn them on are these. You guys have probably already seen them uh, in your truck. So, because this does come of course with the stock Tacomas. Um, the on, off. So basically this is what turns it on. So you could either leave it on door or you can actually turn it on completely and then turn it off completely. So this of course is what powers your third brake light uh, light on and it also powers those bed lights. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. So I do gotta thank all the sponsors and everybody that's actually been helping me out with the build. Thank you guys, you guys know who you are. So yeah, so please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time, peace.